Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today for a world first. We're here at the home of Bugatti in Molsheim in France and never before have these cars been lined up side by side. We have the Bugatti Devo, La Voiture Noire, the Cento Dieci and the world record breaking Chiron Supersport 300 Plus as well as the new Chiron Noir that celebrates 250 Chirons now through production, half of the total build run but never have these cars been here together and to see them is something pretty special so let's explore then the greatest lineup of modern Bugattis that you will ever have seen It is incredibly lucky that the weather this afternoon is superb, but just feast your eyes over the cars that we have here all in a row. Some of the most special cars of Bugatti at this time. Literally, this is the car that I saw on my last visit here to the Bugatti Atelier, the record breaking over 300 mile per hour Chiron Supersport 300 plus. This is the Cento Dieci, of which only 10 will be made that pays tribute to the EB110. And of course you can can see those design cues all over it. This is La Voiture Noire, the most expensive new car in the world that launched a few years ago. And then we have one of the first production Devos of the 40 that are going to be made. But look at all of these together, a lineup that in the not too distant past you could never have imagined seeing. We will come back to go through all of these and work out exactly what we are looking at in just a moment. But let's head over to check out this, the brand new Chiron Noir. Just here there. Then we have the new car, the Chiron Noir, sitting here at the entrance to the Atelier, the assembly plant where the Bugattis are produced, the Chirons and previously the Veyrons, but this celebrates half of the production run now being completed. Car 250 out of 500 of the Bugatti Chiron, and this, the Noir, celebrates that with a limited run edition, 20 cars to be produced in total, all with this very stealthy and menacing look. Of course, the name Noir is literally the French word for black, and you can see that in some of the details on this car. You might originally think that the paintwork, if we can call it that, is satin black, but have a look at this. It is very heavily tinted, dark exposed carbon fibre over the entirety of the exterior. For the accent sections, if we could call them, we have the dark gloss carbon fibre, but again, look at this. Very heavily tinted, a stunning look when you come up close. Then you've got the satin black exhaust tips, you've got the satin black wheels as well. This car being based on the Bugatti Chiron Sport, but also with the Skyview roof, so the two glass panels that you have to open up the interior feel as well. But look at this, truly, truly menacing, particularly around the front, the horseshoe grille, satin black surround, the black Bugatti logo as well in the centre, and even down to the splitter, you can see it is all the exposed carbon fibre throughout. A very, very menacing car based on the Chiron Sport, which came with a few weight savings, the lighter wheels, the carbon fibre, uh, windscreen wiper arms, and also, like I said, the Skyview roof panels too. If we take a quick look at the interior, continuing the theme inside here, it is also very black and menacing and stealthy. You'll notice on the steering wheel, the satin carbon over the top of the steering wheel, the shifter and the central anodized uh, toggles and control panels, all completing the same look, as well as the noir embroidery that it has up on the headrest, the top of the seat belts, all very much on the theme and very, very, very cool inside. So a special edition celebrating the completion of half of the build run of the Bugatti Chirons with the Noir. But we're here now also to go and check out this incredible lineup. So let's head over to go through this lineup of Bugattis that has never been seen before in a bit more detail. Just before that, this car is being taken back in with the thunderous sound from that W16. Eight litre quad turbo, one and a half thousand horsepower. As it reverses it backwards now, head back into the atelier. This is really quite a magnificent thing. What an opportunity to be able to see that, the 250th Bugatti Chiron. This is truly incredible. I still can't believe that we are looking at this lineup of the four different Bugatti models, the most exclusive and bespoke models from the modern era of Bugatti. The Devo, La Voiture Noir, Cento Dieci, and the record-breaking Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. Of course, Bugatti have a long and full history. Back 110 years, last year they celebrated their 110th anniversary and launched a limited edition variant of the Chiron, 
as well as launching this, the Devo. Presented at the Quail, one of the events as part of Monterey Car Week in California just over a year and a half ago or so, the Devo was the most radical model up to that point that they had introduced. The most agile model as well, significantly different to the Chiron. You can see, looking around the new design, it's strictly limited to only 40 units in total, and this is one of the first production cars. Up to this point, we've seen the various different models, but now the cars are starting to come off the production line right behind me over in the Atelier, and this is one we're able to take a look at. As you go around though, you can tell it has all of the new bodywork, much more focused for the track use. You can see, for example, the wing sitting up at the back, the shark fin that runs over the engine bay, and it produces 90 kilos of downforce more than the Chiron, allowing it to corner at 1.6 G as opposed to the 1.5. Of course, having more downforce does mean a little bit more drag at the top speed. So even though it has the eight liter quad turbo W16, making 1500 horsepower, 1600 Newton meters, it has a slightly reduced top speed down to 380 kilometers per hour rather than the 420 of the Chiron. But just look at this thing. The lower front nose, the even wider horseshoe grille than the Chiron, those new lights as well, the way they wrap around and loop up over the front corners towards those louvres. The design is crazy. It is wild. It is supposed to be something different and to stand out. And it definitely, definitely does that when you see it here in the lineup. If we continue on though, from the Devo, we get to one of my favorites, La Voiture Noire, a car that I have more or less been chasing around the world. I saw it at the launch in Geneva at the Motor Show just over a year ago. I've seen it since out in California and at various different events, but this was quite literally the most expensive new car in the world, 16.7 million euros, a complete one-off. This is of course the show car, the model as opposed to the final full production car, but we're looking at a car that has a big history and story behind it. It was introduced, named La Voiture Noire, the black car, as a kind of tribute back to the story of the missing Bugatti 57 Atlantic, the missing one of the three. But you look at this thing with its swooping design, leaning towards the back, all of the features that were created just for this, this curved tail light that runs all the way around, the shape that runs over the top, the features like that central spine that link back to the 57 Atlantic. One of the craziest things, having six exhaust tailpipes here inside the diffuser. It is powered by the same W16 power plant, but with a much longer shape. You can see it is extended, it is elongated, it is completely unique. Its own chassis, its own creation and work behind it with this very, very dark tinted carbon fiber. You can see the weave through the tint over the top of it, but every single detail and feature created just for this one car. Only one of them, La Voiture Noire. Is that not one of the most special vehicles of the modern era from Bugatti or anybody for that matter? And just being here in its presence again is something really, really quite special to actually behold. So from the Devo to La Voiture Noire to the Cento Dieci. Now this is an interesting one. Cento Dieci, Italian for 110, paying tribute to the EB110, a missing part of Bugatti's history. There have kind of been three different eras for Bugatti back in the 1930s with the Type 35s, the EB110 era from the 80s, and of course the new Bugatti that we know with these cars under the Volkswagen Group umbrella. But the Cento Dieci brings quite a few EB110 design and styling cues onto the body, and I suppose the chassis and frame work of the Chiron. Power goes up, it has 1,600 horsepower, an additional 100, but still the 1,600 newton meters. But to touch on some of those design cues, for example, the way the headlights cut away and cut in through the bodywork, the much smaller, but still distinctly Bugatti horseshoe grille worn down at the very front. As we come around it, these intakes behind the side windows towards the engine for cooling, towards the back, a fixed wing as well, wrapping around over the top of the rear, where we have another completely unique tail light design that has been created for this car. Quite mesmerizing actually to look at this, to take in all of the details when you look at how they've managed to make all of this work. And down at the bottom, a totally new exhaust design. And the reason they're positioned like this is to minimize the impact on the diffuser, to obviously get the exhaust gases escaping as quickly as possible without having any issues uh, or problems or minimizing or damaging, I suppose, the aerodynamic effect. Otherwise though, all very much open for cooling 
uh, effect where possible with a window over the back, a different way to do it as opposed to the other Bugatti models. I thought this was very, very special when it launched six months ago out at the Quail again, a year after the Devo was presented on the very same stage. To continue on though, from the Cento Diecci, we get to this, the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. They will be making 30 of these, I'm sorry, I should have said they'll be making 10 Cento Diecis, only 10, so we've got 40, one, 10 and 30, but this car was the car that Andy Wallace broke the record speed for a production car, driving this one at Aero Lassine to 304.77 miles per hour, 490.5 kilometers per hour. It is based, of course, on the Chiron, distinctly recognizably so, but with a number of changes. For example, the air curtains to control airflow around the sides, but the biggest changes are towards the rear. An extended rear to streamline airflow that comes over the back. A new look as well to the exhaust, like the Cento Diecci as a Chiron rolls on by. Very nice. Like the Cento Diecci then with those exhausts, but look at the way that diffuser comes up so early from underneath the car. That's all thanks to having the gearbox mounted on the front side of the engine as opposed to the back, allowing the back of the car, the underside of the car to lift up earlier to help streamline it. It still has, I mean, the engine you'd expect, 1600 horsepower, a full carbon bodywork, but with a number of changes that make it possible. And this is now going into production. This car, of course, fitted out for the purpose, full roll cage, seat in here. If you're wondering why no passenger seat, because maybe it would have gone a little bit slower, well it actually had to have more weight of technical equipment, laptops, computers and the like, than the amount of weight the seat saves, that it saves by taking out the seat. And of course still, still splattered with bugs all over the front after Andy's record run. So very cool to see that. I did actually have a good look at it here when I came to visit the Bugatti Atelier in the past. So that lineup, those four cars, wow. It is truly mind boggling to take all of these in here together. Never been done before, never been seen like this. And the team at Bugatti have kindly pulled the cars out and lined them up for us to have an opportunity to see this world first exclusive lineup. The four truly special Bugatti bespoke models at this time. Devo, La Voiture Noire, Cento Diecci, and the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. I am well and truly mind blown by this, and I hope you've enjoyed taking a look down this lineup as much as I have. It's not something we will probably ever get to see again, as well as also seeing the new Chiron Noir. A big thanks again to Bugatti, a big thanks to you for your support and for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, but that is it for this time. I will see you again very soon. Cheers!